Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here, and thank you guys so much for tuning back into our Channel 7 Let's Play. Now, between episodes, I actually did a couple of things. I upgraded a few defenses, as you can see. Let's pop into my progress bases to show you guys. Um, I've got one air defense to go until we're done with air defenses. I also have my archer tower going to level 7. Uh, that's just because I wanted them all to be the same level. It's kind of OCD. I also just finished the new cannon. You get two at Channel 7. Um, and now they're all level 7, which is nice. The only defense now that's not either going or already the same level as the previous uh, defenses is this Mortar, which will be a top priority. Also, again, guys, the King got taken to level 4. It was 17,500 Dark Elixir and only a 36-hour upgrade. So I went ahead and did it because I had the Dark Elixir. And then lastly, guys, the Raid spell is finally done in this laboratory. So now we're down to 6 troops and... Well, six Elixir Troops and the Hog Rider. So today, as you could probably guess, we're at 18,600 Dark Elixir. We're going to get to 20,000 Dark Elixir. We're going to max our Dark Elixir. And we're also going to either do the King to level 5 or the Hogs in the Laboratory to level Two. I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet, but I do know that I have a book of heroes so I can actually book that king down if I really really want to So yes guys still using the dragons. I've got a defensive clan castle right now Valkyries in the clan castle are so powerful. So I say we just go for it Um, Let's do this. Oh and before we actually Wow Okay, we're going to attack this base. Uh, 1,200 Dark Elixir. That's a lot of Dark Elixir. And it's got over half a million gold, guys. That is a lot of gold. It's a Tunnel 8, though. So this will be a challenge. Uh, we, we will struggle a little bit on this base. So I say we come in from the back side of the Sweeper. Let's go ahead and put two Dragons out there and two Dragons out there to start the funnel. Let's get rid of that Archer Tower 2. Let's start on this Dark Spell Factory. And then what we need to do is we need to get as many Dragons as possible um right in here that's where we need them because what we'll do is we'll deploy a raid spell and by the way i discovered something very important about raid spells at town hall 7 dragons is that you don't put the raid spells in front of the dragons because they're so slow moving that you actually have to put the raid spells on top of the dragons um as soon as that re as soon as i realized that guys the attacking at tunnel 7 thing really got a lot easier i was able to successfully um attack with dragons a lot better so instead of putting the spell kind of in front of your troops put them on your troops and it will work out very nicely as you can see here guys this base had all the air defenses in the same spot and so all i had to do is get like five or six dragons raid spell on top of them and they were able to get rid of all the air defenses so if we're lucky guys we're actually about to triple a full-fledged town hall eight this was a good eight i mean it has it's got max walls again that's irrelevant for a dragon attack but still it's like this base was legit and we are doing a great job with it i don't even think we need our king i think that we can just let this thing roll on um except for i'm going to use my king actually to take out this army camp just to tighten up the funnel i want all those dragons to fall onto that arch tower as quickly as possible this dragon oh come on corner building really are there more yeah, there's more corner buildings. All right. Well, this king might die because he's being targeted by the double cannon and the archer tower. That's fine. He doesn't even have a special ability. All he really does is tank, which is what he's doing now. He's actually tanking for this archer tower for this dragon. So this is working out great. But I think we're about to triple a town hall eight, guys. That is a great way to start the video. Um, and we've got a lot of dragons still left. So what they're going to do is they're going to take out this. Uh, oh, oh, there's only one corner building. Okay. Cool. Well, uh, while we slowly loom our way over, check it out, guys. We're currently at 19,909 Dark Elixir. That's really, really good. And um, we're only about 650,000 gold away from max storage. That is awesome. Look how much progress. Look how much Dark Elixir we have. This is absolutely insane, guys. That was amazing. Now, ooh, and um, also, Clan Games is still rolling on. I still need to take out the Elixir Collectors. But let's see. We got... A few, we got a little bit. Do I need to, let me see. No, I've got my dragons here. Okay, well, let's watch this This last replay, guys. Alejandro, over 2,000 Dark Elixir. Now, this base was a bit better designed. So, what's what the problem with this base, and it's, again, a little bit, a little bit better designed, is the fact that the air defenses are a bit more spread out. So that way, I can't just rage one group of dragons and take out all the air defenses but i attacked this bit oh and look at that look at that rage spell oh all the dragons are in that rage that is very nice same thing with that one over there as soon as i figured out how to put my rage spells down these attacks became much better but 
Anyway, what I was saying was, I'm attacking this Tunnel 8 because the Dark Elixir was just absolutely fantastic. I raged into the core. Probably shouldn't have used that third rage. I probably should have waited and did it on the Town Hall, like right there. But a lot of those dragons are still under rage, so it's okay, I guess. Um, but this base had over 2,000 Dark Elixir. We got over 2,000 Dark Elixir against Alejandro. Absolutely incredible, guys. Unfortunately, this was a very well-developed Town Hall 8. So the dragons did not survive. The, the Seeking Air Mines, guys... The, um, the, the air defenses, the archer towers, they all defended against my dragons very, very nicely. So, we did miss out on that drill up there at the top, but it was perfectly fine. These dragons now getting wrecked right now. Look at that, like two hits a piece. That is insanity. Yeah, alright. So, we're down now to 2,000 Dark Elixir. Uh, or, or that was that was 2000 plus a lot of elixir and by the way guys So I was using the dragons and I think the previous episode where the dragons were Discounted because of a special event, but now here's the real cost of max dragons and max rage spells is 380,000 elixir so likely I won't use dragons if I'm almost out of elixir uh, And that's if I happen to use a lot of elixir, but look at that I mean all these Upgrades are so cheap compared to my max storages. I'll probably never have to use anything else besides dragons at this point. It's a great dark elixir farming army. Once we get, once we spend all the dark elixir on the hogs and the king, then it's all about farming elixir and gold, and that that's easy. <laughs> so yeah, guys, we're we're in a good place. We're in a great place. So let's use our second dragon attack. We only need a hundred dark elixir. So I might as well look for something that's got a ton of gold, kind of like the previous attack. So I'll be right back once I find the perfect base. And as per usual, you and I are going to destroy it together. Hey guys, all right, so this is a dead Town Hall 8, or at least it's an uncollected Town Hall 8. Lots and lots of gold in the mines, lots of elixir in the collectors, and we're going to use our dragons more of a spam style attack. That way we can just get the loot on the outside and get out. And again, we only need about 90 dark elixir before we max our storage. So let's prioritize gold because we need gold, right? We need a lot of gold. We don't really need elixir too bad. Uh, but I'm going to basically just put down my dragons on the outside collectors of mines. I've still got two dragons left. And we need to make sure that we target at least one of those drills to get to 20,000 dark. Also, uh, there's a couple of elixir collectors that we have not yet targeted. So I, I might be forced to choose dark elixir or elixir. Now, we, again, we do have to have that 20,000. So let's just see where these dragons go. The Oh, that goes one of the elixir collectors. And here goes another. Perfect. These dragons are brilliant. And then the other dragon up there at the very top is going for that drill. Guys, we just maxed. Look at that. Look at that. 20. Wow. Look at that. 20,000 Dark Elixir. Now it doesn't even matter what happens. It doesn't even matter. Let's just send the dragons in down here for the fun of it. I, I do like to try to get the two-star because it really is true. I've said this multiple times in this series. That the higher up in the trophies you go as a seven, the better the loot is. So let's drop our raid spell on top of here. Get these dragons up and around let's try to get this town hall i know it's a lot to ask these dragons yeah that was a lot to ask there was a lot of firepower from the core of that base that was unfortunate all right well take out the air defense just because i feel like it there you go good job buddy and then dead bummer all right well that's fine you know what we just got a ton of gold we have max elixir max dark elixir that was a beautiful beautiful raid Four hundred thirty thousand gold as a tunnel seven i mean all right, we finished the clan games too, but that's that's amazing because look at this. I mean, like for instance, the cheapest gold upgrade right now besides the collectors is the cannons at 400,000. So basically one raid is going to fuel or going to pay for uh, a, a cannon going to max at tunnel seven, which I find to be absolutely incredible, guys. But one thing I want to mention before we start the upgrades is look at our walls. They're halfway done. If we go into edit and remove down at the bottom with 87 level seven walls and 88 level six walls, that means we're almost exactly halfway done with our walls which i find to be insane because i haven't focused at all on the walls i've just been pouring extra loot into the walls this entire time so that's really really cool so let's start this upgrade cycle with our elixir and i say we just do whatever's most expensive i don't use any of these things so let's you oh balloons let's use balloons drag balloon is a cool attack and it would be kind of cool to be able to bring it on as an attack we do in this series let's use the let's upgrade the balloons guys 1.35 million elixir a three-day upgrade in three, two, one, bam. Nice. All right, so the, the balloons are going. It's a three-day upgrade. And by the way, let's do a little bit of math here. Each of these upgrades are three days, right? And there's six. So six times three is 18. 
Plus, we have the hogs, which is five days. That's 23. So technically, from this day, we have 23 days until our tunnel 7 is max, as far as the laboratory is concerned. Also, I think the defenses will take less time than that. So that means that we've got about three weeks to go until the tunnel 7 is maxed out, which, which is really, really awesome. So we got three builders left. Two of them are going to be done later this evening. I'm filming a sort of, it's around noon right now in my time. So what I will do is definitely prioritize this air defense, guys. Let's get this air defense done. Five-day upgrade, a million gold, five-day upgrade, three, two, one, bam. Why did I say five-day upgrade twice? I don't know. Maybe because I did it out of order. Maybe because Klaus is crazy. I, I have no idea. But let's move this wizard tower over. Let's get this third air defense. I like to keep them grouped together and make this progress base look nice. So there you go. And then this wall that was uh, that was marking how many levels that thing had, it can be put back with its friends. So now, guys, what we need to do is we need to focus on this mortar. It's the last defense that is not up to par with the rest. Let's go ahead and do this, guys, at 400,000. Gold upgrade, two days in three, two, one, bam. There we go. And then last but certainly not least, we've got a max gold, no, max dark elixir storage, 23, 20,000 dark elixir. Let's upgrade this king, guys. It's a two day upgrade, but I've got the book of heroes. Let's go ahead and finish it off, guys. 20,000 dark, two days, not even going to be close. I'm so excited because this will be the first time that I have uh, on, on Solomon had the Iron Fist ability, which is just absolutely amazing. If you don't know what it is, if you haven't gotten here yet, pop his special ability. He goes crazy and little barbarians pop out of him and he does extra damage. It's just absolutely crazy. So 20,000 dark in three, two, one, bam. And then of course the Book of Heroes. Let's do this guys. Max King. I think this deserves, this deserves a like. Be sure and like this video uh, just because this is great. So let's do this guys in three, two, one, bam. There we go, and now we have one builder remaining, and so I'm going to spend all of my gold in the rest of this episode on walls and one more upgrade on defense. So I say we go ahead and max an archer tower. That's going to be 720,000 gold, and if I pull out my calculator, and actually, do I have anything in my treasury? I don't! No! Okay, well, let's see. Um, if I pull out my calculator right now, it's 2,380,000, and uh, it's going to cost 720,000. That means I've got 1.6 million gold left over, and that means I can do eight walls. So let's go ahead and do the one. There we go. And then I can do seven more. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, and by the way, guys, that means we are officially more than halfway done with our walls going to max for Town Hall 7. Now, let's make it official. Get way past halfway in three, two, one. Bam. Nice. All right. And then the final upgrade of the episode is this first arch tower going to max level eight. Let's do this. Let's do this, guys. Three to upgrade in three, two, one. Bam. Nice. Now, as you can see, we do have excess leftover um, elixir. That's good because I need to start a couple of dragon upgrades uh, or dragon raids. So let's pour all that in there and now we're pretty much oh we still got almost two million elixir that is crazy all right guys well then that is gonna have to do it for us today today was a great day wall progress defense is going to max king is now maxed out uh balloons going in the laboratory all is good guys and again about three weeks until our tunnel seven will be maxed but for now that's it for me. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Like the video if you liked it. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already for daily gaming videos. And as always, I love each and every one of you. And I will see you all again next time.